Reva Star, silver fluoride and potassium iodide. Open the tooth to gain access to the caries. Isolate the cavity with either rubber dam or cotton rolls. Remove superficial debris and the surface layer of caries with an excavator. Using a number three round slow speed burr, remove the carious dentine at the dental enamel junction and cavity floor so as to encircle the caries with sound dentine. Apply Super Etch 37% phosphoric acid for five seconds and wash away with copious amounts of water. Dry, but do not desiccate the preparation. Pierce the fall cover over the gray silver fluoride reservoir using the gray brush. Rotate the brush to push the foil to the sides of the reservoir. Bend over the brush and remove the brush from the reservoir. Apply the silver fluoride solution liberally over the cavity preparation. Commence potassium iodide application immediately following silver fluoride application. Pierce the foil over the green potassium iodide reservoir using the green brush. Rotate the brush to push the foil to the sides of the reservoir. Bend over the brush and remove brush from the reservoir. Apply the potassium iodide solution liberally over the cavity preparation. Continue applying the potassium iodide solution until the white precipitate clears from the preparation. Immediately following potassium iodide application, flush the cavity with water. Dry, but do not desiccate the preparation. Place a suitable matrix system prior to restoration placement. Insert Reva SC or Reva SCHV into the preparation up to the level of the dentine enamel junction. Prepare a resin modified GIC bonding agent, Reva Bond LC. Impregnate the bond into the brush and commence condensing the glass on the cement. Prior to setting of the Reva SC, place a suitable composite resin, ice, into the preparation and condense the cavity to slightly overfill the preparation. Light cure the restoration for 40 seconds to enable the exothermic setting reaction of the composite resin to help set the Reva SC. Contour and polish the restoration with suitable rotary instruments. Completed restoration prior to occlusal adjustment.